Are you tired of lag, stutters, and delayed key presses in Fortnite Chapter 6? Well, in this video, we're using Peterbot's new settings to unlock insane FPS boosts and get zero input delay even on low-end PCs. Stick around and follow every step exactly to make your Fortnite run smoother and faster than ever in 2025. Let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors for Fortnite. In this step, we will make sure your computer is using all of its processor cores so Fortnite can run smoother and faster. Press the Windows key on your keyboard. Type System Configuration in the search bar and open it. When the window opens, click the Boot tab at the top. Now click the Advanced Options button. A new box will appear. Tick the checkbox that says Number of Processors. From the drop-down menu, choose the highest number available. This number is how many CPU cores your computer has. By doing this, you are telling Windows to use all of your CPU's power. This can make your system respond faster, run games more smoothly, and increase your FPS, frames per second, in Fortnite. Now click OK, then click Apply, and finally close the window. Your CPU is now unlocked to its full power, which means better gameplay, less lag, and lower input delay in Fortnite. Step 2. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, which are like mini processors inside it. Sometimes Windows parks, disables some of them to save power. But when you are playing games like Fortnite, that can slow things down. To fix this, use a tool called Unpark CPU. After downloading it, right-click the app and choose Run as Administrator so it has full access to your system. When it opens, it will scan your CPU and show which cores are active and which ones are parked. Click the Unpark button to activate all your cores. Once this is done, your CPU will work at full strength. This will give you better performance in Fortnite, help the game run smoother, reduce FPS drops, and make your system faster overall. Step 3. Using NVIDIA Profile Inspector Settings for Fortnite You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. If your PC uses an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector to boost your FPS and reduce input delay. This tool gives you access to secret settings not available in the regular NVIDIA control panel. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector. At the top, in the search bar, type Fortnite. If you already downloaded my custom settings file from Discord, you can import it directly. If not, change the settings manually like this. In the anti-aliasing section, set transparency, super sampling to 0x tetra 0, triple 0, 008 in the texture. Filtering section, turn on driver controlled low D. Set loud bias DX and allowed bias OGL to plus 3. These settings reduce small graphics effects like shadows and grass, which helps increase FPS. Set negative load. Bias to clamp. Set texture filtering quality to high quality in the power management section. Set power management mode to optimal performance. Once done, click apply changes. These settings are perfect for low end or medium PCs and help Fortnite run smoother with fewer FPS drops. Step four, use MSI utility to optimize hardware performance for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. You can also improve your computer's performance and reduce input delay using a tool called MSI utility. This tool helps your hardware communicate more efficiently with Windows. After downloading it, open the tool. You will see a list of devices connected to your PC. Find your graphics card, GPU, in the list. Tick the MSI box next to your GPU. Set the interrupt priority to high. Then find your integrated GPU, like Intel Graphics, and do the same. Tick the MSI box. Set interrupt priority to high click. Apply to save your changes and close the program. These settings help reduce input delay, improve your system's reaction time, and make Fortnite run smoother, especially on slower computers. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. 
I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Improve CPU performance. Using Throttle Stop for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To get even more performance from your CPU while playing Fortnite, oi, we will use a tool called Throttle Stop. Go to your Tools folder and open the Throttle Stop folder. Double click on Throttle Stop. .xe to open it. When it opens, you will see different performance modes like Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, Battery Mode. Choose the one called Game Power Plan. Check the box next to High Performance. This setting tells your CPU to always focus on performance. Now look at these sections. Clock Mode Set Multiplier Speed Shift Settings. Do not change anything in those sections. Just tick the box labeled Disable Turbo. This keeps your CPU at a stable speed and helps stop it from overheating or slowing down during gameplay. Click the button, turn on, then click Save. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background while you're playing Fortnite. This will help your CPU stay fast, stable, and smooth during your game. Step 6. Make your keyboard faster using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will use a tool called Filter Keys Setter to make your keyboard respond faster during Fortnite. Open the Filter Keys Setter program. You will see three main settings. Change them to Ignore, Under, Set this to 0 comma ends. This removes delay when pressing a key. Repeat delay. Set this to 130 and as sims. This sets how fast a key starts repeating when held down. Repeat rate. Set this to 10 M's. This makes your keyboard respond faster when pressing keys repeatedly. Check the box on the right side to turn these settings on. Click OK to apply the changes. This makes your keyboard more responsive, which is very helpful in fast-paced games like Fortnite. Step 7. Clean up junk files with Storage Sense for Fortnite. Over time, Windows collects junk files that slow your system down. You can use a built-in tool called Storage Sense to remove them and improve performance in Fortnite. Open Windows Settings. Search for Storage Sense. Turn Storage Sense on. Click on Configure Cleanup Schedules. Set it like this. Run Storage Sense. Every day, delete recycle bin files. After 14 days. Now click Run Storage Sense. Now. This clears up space, removes junk, and helps Fortnite use your system's resources better. You're done. If these steps helped you fix low FPS, reduce lag, or improve performance in Fortnite, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more guides like this. Let me know in the comments how much your game improved. And I'll see you in the next video.